Welcome to Art Critic Thursday. Today we're going to go through my time capsule and I'm going to show you how you can get your own art ready to put in your own time capsule. How you can put it in the plastic and the right... <laughs> you'll see. Anyway, I'm glad you're with me. I opened up a time capsule and so today in the fabulous Traveling Art Studio, which is now my living room, I'm going to show you what's in here. These are the old paintings that I did long before, like when I was in Snohomish. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're looking at old paintings. And I'll tell you why I like them. Or don't. <laughs> okay, so this is a time capsule in question. It's all this stuff. That's a lot of Leo my son that I lost. A lot of stuff's in there. It's hard for me to open up that box and not drop a bunch of tears, but I did get in there to make sure everything was still safe for when Leo comes back to look at it. And I found a bunch of cool stuff. I found some of my writing, Whoop. but I'm gonna find a place for you to sit. This one of a Harley Davidson for the 100 year. And right away, I opened this up, and my friend said, Hey, I want to buy that. <laughs> I'm going to sell it for 20 bucks. This is a lovely piece. And I'll tell you why I like this one. I was just learning how to do wet on wet techniques. I think I used white out on these spots. I was just learning. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> Holy smoke, I like the colors in this. I'm sure that this wasn't really this, these colors, but I like it. And look at this big, I think they call it a bloom. Look at this bloom right in here. Isn't that gorgeous? I was learning how to bloom. <laughs> Neat. These are some of my first ones I've ever painted. Yeah. Alexander Graham Bell and his granddaughter. So I looked through it and the paper is all kinds of different papers. <laughs> I just used whatever I had. But boy, 2012. I was sure in for, I was sure off to a good start. Wasn't I? I look at these and I think, I've come a very long way. My watercolors don't look like that anymore. And that's a good thing. Here's Lady Flaming Arrow. Oh, and Secrets of the Womb. Okay, so, so, this is one of my best ones. And this one, I have a card of this, Secrets of the Womb. It's a little girl listening to a tummy. They were in here. Oh, ho, ho. This is fun. Lightheaded. I had that on my wall at one time. Oh, and look at my dancers. Holy cow. This one. Hmm. So actually, from the very beginning, you know, that was probably 10 years ago. From the very beginning, I think I was an okay artist. Look, I got, I got that. Just, I really did some cool things. Yep, and it helped me to grow. Um, now when I paint, I take all the techniques of that I had from the, from back then. I learned from them, and I changed them up. I mean, this looks like a beginner watercolor, doesn't it? It's nice. I thought I'd put this in my bathroom. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is signed Cher Wells. Back when I was married to David, which was 20 years ago, that was one of my first pictures. What do I like about it? I like that right off the bat, I figured out the water and the paint needed to just learn to get along, and I did it. Right. Opening up something like this as a time capsule, it's just so neat because I forgot all these pictures. Also, I was able to see how far I've come as an artist. My goodness. 
Well, I noticed that my masterpiece was not in a good plastic. So, I put it in this one. Yeah, this is my masterpiece. I painted this a long time ago. It was really special, but I knew it was going to be one of my better pictures I've ever painted. It's just really good. Anyway, I had seen this plastic. So, I'm just going to secure the plastic so that it stays nice. Because <laughs> I don't have a place to put it. So, just, you know. I'm, I'm not going to do too much to it because I want it to breathe a little bit. Anyway, this is ready and I, I want to be able to put this like under the couch. But if it's wet under there, I'm going to ruin my painting. So make sure that all of the plastic is good and away you go with that one because this is a big one. I have quite a few of my paintings in this plastic. It's just on this side. And the other side is my pirate. pirate. So I'm going to find a place to put this where it's out of the way and it won't get damaged. I found this picture, old picture of Tim Miller. And I don't want to just put it over there like that. I mean, even if I put it in an ugly plastic, it's better than nothing. So I got this plastic from someplace. Now mind you that if you if you really like this picture, you put it in a better plastic. But I just want to archive it for now. Let's go it in there. And this is with just a piece of plastic that I saved from something. There, it's all ready. It's all ready and it won't get nasty. That's the way you archive a painting to put in your time capsule. <laughs> oh, <oops. laughs> well, as I was going through those, I noticed that some of them weren't really stored very well, and they might have got some dings on it. At the time when I put them in there, I didn't have any idea how important they would be for me someday. I was just painting. So, this is what I'm going to do from now on. Anytime I have a picture, I'm going to just put it in plastic and then I'm going to put them together. This is a whole bunch, a whole bunch from a time period. But what I'm going to do, they're all in plastic. And the ones that I especially like are actually matted. There's my old cat. Anyway, these are all in here. And I don't know if I would sell them or not. So I'm going to take these and put them. All together in a nice little thing and put them aside. And if I need to sell some work, I have this available to do that. But that's how I would archive my work, thinking that these paintings that are your beginning paintings are probably really, really, really important. So make sure you archive them properly. Yeah, that's what you do. So I was I really enjoy going through all my stuff in my time capsule. And now I'm going to plastic things up nice, make sure everything stays good, ah, and put them back. So if you're going to put your artwork in a time capsule, put it in a sleeve. This is not this kind. <laughs> I was kidding. This is a wrong kind. A sleeve where you can close it up. Now if I really wanted to get scientific about this thing, I could take a piece of paper that had a painting on it that didn't turn out because I love to use these for this and I could write out my list of what's in here but <laughs> I'm not going to do that I just want to be surprised when I open this up but it's perfect and I'm going to put the paintings from that time period in here then I'm going to put on the outside the date and if I need them for something it's in here and every time I open this up, it's going to be a surprise. But you might not want to do that. You might want to archive them as far as writing down what's in there and then putting that on the outside. That way you'll know. And <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Don't be a surprise person like me. But 
this is cool because it's got this sticky sticky here so I can really put it in here and it'll it's gonna keep it really nice so that's what I'm gonna do with last year's paintings and probably the year before that too I took all the ones out that I wanted to hang in my home and this is the rest of them <laughs> ha, so I just took them all like this yeah some of them are matted but they're all in plastic and I also want to kind of warn you about cardboard. You don't want to put cardboard on the backs of it. Oh, look at this one. This is an old one. Oh. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that was an old one. Pamela Rose. <laughs> I just loved her. Anyway, I'm going to take all these like this. Okay, about cardboard. No, you don't want to put cardboard on the back of these pictures. And you also want to be careful with tape. You don't want to put regular tape on these ever. You use a expensive artist tape. That way you don't have a problem because tape will go through. It'll ruin your entire world. So I'm going to take this and those will be in there for good. And I could put this underneath the couch and it won't get ruined. In fact, that's probably what I'm going to do. Yep. But I'm working on my new body of work, so I don't want my old body of work laying around. I want to archive it, put it aside, then it'll be special. It won't just be all those paintings that just got ruined everywhere. But there's other ones in here that if I need to have a picture to put in a wall, it's here. <laughs> I think that's everything. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. <laughs> 20 years later, when you open up that thing, boom, look at all that stuff. And actually, it's been a really good thing for me because I can see what I was like as a baby watercolorist. Yeah, seriously, that was about 30 years, that was about 40 years ago. <laughs> I'm 60 now. I've been watercoloring most of my life. Until later, I hope you have a time capsule to go through. And if you have paintings you want to do a time capsule for 20 years from now, put them in a sleeve, put them all together, put them in a special place. Then when you open them up, oh, you'll be so surprised at how far you've come in 20 years. Yeah, anyway, until later. I've been busy, haven't I? I hope you find your yacht. I hope you're doing art. And I hope I'm encouraging you. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> what? What do you mean my living is a mess? <laughs> They're right. <laughs> it's a creative genius mess. <laughs> creative genius mess. <laughs> anyway, good morning. Good morning, other things.